There's something that you wanted to say right away before we even uh, start the chat with you. Um, you were really keen to just sort of get this out there. There's been lots in the papers uh, about stuff about you and your husband. How are you? How are things? I'm good. I honestly am fine. I think, you know, when stuff goes on at home, it's not normal to be everywhere. And also, it's not necessarily true <laughs> or the reasons why you're not getting on at the moment. So that's okay. what I really want to say. But you're OK. Yeah, I'm all good. Good. Good, good. And congratulations. Thank you. How, how many weeks, months are you? Guys, mm -hmm. second time round. Uh, 32 weeks. In wow. the middle of 32 weeks. It's okay. funny that second time round, isn't it? Because the first time every single thing. You know thing, everything. You know what yeah. fruit size you are. But of are. course you were looking after another little one. Yeah. At the same time. Is she excited? Yeah, she's so excited. How old is she now? Three. Mm. You oh. have got that lovely mum-to-be yeah. look, though, that glow. Yeah, absolutely. I, I saw <laughs> you <laughs> earlier and I thought, gosh, I wish I'd looked like that when I was pregnant. I really didn't. You look gorgeous. You yeah, but well, really that was well. ten years on, yeah. Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> and how, how has the pregnancy been? Has it been OK? Yeah, this time round I've been, like, the sickness. I, I had nothing with it. Like, you wouldn't, I wouldn't have even known I was pregnant. Yeah. Like, I was so lucky. I was working the whole way through. Yeah. But this time... <sighs> Thrown up every morning. Oh, really gosh. bad car sick. I feel feel okay now. Like yeah. I'm just get, getting to the end bit now. Right and now and wasn't there a the scare time. with the, the baby not maybe moving as much as? Yeah, again as... with Ella, I felt Ella move constantly, and it might mm. be her personality as yeah. well because she's crazy. But um, <laughs> this baby just doesn't move as much, and I yeah. it got to the point where I was like, okay, do you know what? I'm a little bit worried. Yeah. And they always say, like, the midwives always make, make you feel like, if there is anything, just come in, just mm. pop in. And so I did and everything was fine. Mm -hmm. I'm just... Everyone says I've got a small bump as well, so I was quite concerned, right. like, 32 weeks, everyone's like... Oh, you've just got a little dozy little mouse of a baby yeah, in there. Yeah, and that's There's what I think is actually the resting. case. But yeah. they, were, they kind of thought... It was small as well, yeah. but we did all the tests and everything's, everything's fine. Everything's fine. So, Good. So, so the you, fall you off worked all the way through <laughs> with your your first baby, mm -hmm. and then yeah. did, what, what, what do you feel about going back to work? Did you take time off? How did you? I took. Work? So I took a year off, but I went back th three months afterwards for about a month to film like an ending of a story, just like they, they needed me for something, right. story wise. And then and I did feel like that was too soon. Right. For okay. me, I just constantly missed Ella. And yeah. felt really guilty yeah. and hated everybody. <laughs> like anybody that was with her, I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> they tell me stories, and I'm like, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me about my own child. I just went really like crazy. I hated it. <laughs> so you need to go out and wonder of midwives. I am, yes. Now you're you're working with um, Pampers, who've released some really interesting facts and some very sad facts. One in three midwives uh, say they feel undervalued and underappreciated. Oh. Which I'm not shame. surprised, though, really, when you actually think about everything you go through and you do kind of sometimes forget to thank the people that are pretty much doing everything for you and pretty much mm -hmm. making sure your baby comes out as safely as possible. Mm -hmm. But you do forget to mm -hmm. thank them. Yeah. And it's did, so easy to forget. Did, do you, did you have the same midwife for your first child? The no, not person. the whole time, But no. you've got your midwife here today, haven't you? One of them, One yeah. of them, yeah. She's in the audience. Weirdly, actually, cos we were doing the photo shoot, for, and um, she was one of the midwives, actually, when I went into the hospital, she was one of the midwives that was there, ra completely random. OK. Oh. oh, wow. What was the photo shoot? Sorry. For the Pampers. Oh, OK. Uh -huh. OK. And it just happened to be Happened to be her, yeah. How bizarre. Like, literally crazy. And obviously, second time round, you, you know, you sort of know what to expect, which does make things a little bit easier. We were talking about... Um, there's such a tiny percentage of midwives that are male. Would it? It clearly bothers Nadia. Would it bother <laughs> you if... Uh, or who turns up as long as they're good? I feel like... Definitely birth-wise, I don't even think I would have noticed. Mm. Like, mm. you just don't think about these things. Again, I had smear tests and everything from men. I, yeah. It didn't... I don't know, it just didn't bother me. But I get that it would bother some people, and I do yeah. agree that you should have the choice. Yeah. Yeah. I do feel like if you didn't want that, you should be able to go, I'm actually not comfortable yeah. with that. Yeah. But at the same time, I mean... Literally, the milkman could have walked in and done it. I would not have known <laughs> you anything. You know what? That it made is no such difference. a good point, because when you are in that moment... I mean, that you just let like anyone help yeah. me. I mean, I distinctly yeah. remember lying on that trolley, because it was an emergency caesarean, and there was a corridor going down that end, and the doors were there. And 
I hate to say this, folks, I'm sorry, I was stirrups, the whole thing, you can imagine. <laughs> and I just watched all these people go past the corridor and I was looking at them through the vantage of my own leg. <laughs> <laughs> and they were sort of looking at me, going in like that. <laughs> and I just lay there and I thought, what the hell? Yeah, yeah. What am I going to yeah. do? I'm never going to see them again. Know. And no. as long as the baby's coming out safely, uh, to me, yeah. I, I mean, I don't Absolutely. mind. Absolutely. It's such a, it's such a blur. Him. Exactly. <laughs> when, when's your due date? When are you actually due? The end of June. Oh, lovely wow. summer baby. I know, we don't have It's a great yet. time to have a baby. My daughter's the 25th of June, and I thought it was a great time to have a baby because summer's starting, barbecues, you get out walking, the barbecues, yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. God, the perfect time to have a baby. Lovely. Right. Time and, it well. And, of course, it, it is International Day of the Midwife tomorrow, so to, to Janie, the midwife uh, in our audience here, and to midwives everywhere, you do an amazing job. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well done.